I chose to go in the priesthood because, uh, first of all, it's our Lord's calling for me. Um, but I had thought to go into the uh, military while I was here, so uh, in the Navy to fly. And ultimately, um, I think it's our Lord's calling for me to be happy in this world, but help others to get to heaven, to offer the sacraments and bring people to Him. The Christian experience, the education here, uh, helped me in, in many ways. I'd say, first of all, gave me a tremendous grounding in my faith that I already had from mom and dad, but uh, it was definitely more of an intellectual grounding. Uh, but secondly, there was a spiritual grounding in the faith here that uh, mom and dad couldn't have provided because living here in the dorms, you had the chapel right next door practically, open almost all, all the time that we were able to stop in. Daily Mass was, you know, just understood. Everyone went to Daily Mass, so um, that helped me tremendously. Thirdly, socially, uh, the Christian experience was, was great because others, people, just young people live in the faith, serious about it, but yet knew how to have fun. The Christendom gave me uh, a view of Catholic culture, even though growing up in a very strong Catholic family, um, we weren't able to have, you know, this, this group of young adults all together in the same place, um, studying, socializing, having a spiritual life of, 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 of Catholicism. It was truly a Catholic culture, and actually uh, having experienced that, to have that be in a parish, uh, to me, is, is the ideal. And this is what Christendom, you know, that's what it was in the world so many centuries ago. You know, tack on just an addendum would be just my focus was history, but I had philosophy and theology and literature a good bit uh, based on the core curriculum. That's helped me in being able to interrelate with many different types of people but also just to be able to, I, I think, think clearly and present myself when I'm speaking, giving homilies, um, you know, teaching. Uh, it's helped me tremendously in my priesthood. First of all, you want to be in a place where you're going to be able to hear our Lord's call and uh, where you're going to be supported in living the Christian life, the Catholic faith. Um, and so that means Mass readily available, sacraments readily available, but also in the classroom, you know, you're getting the truths of the faith. You're you're able to challenge the professors. They're not going to take it as a personal affront. They want you to learn the truth, which is tremendous here. And then also, you you'd want somebody, um, you know, as far as considering the priesthood, actually to have the, the spiritual tools there at their fingertips. Um, and and so, in addition to the mass and sacraments. You'd want people here that you can, just friends, you can socialize with that are going to encourage you um, in virtue and, and, and following your vocation, whatever that is. The faculty, the, you know, the, the good friendships being here, the social life. Um, but when it's all said and done, it'd probably be the spiritual life uh, of just the community all together. And that's what I hope, you know, I, I've lived it here, I've seen a Catholic culture actually in, in, in action. And to have that in a parish um, out, in the, out in the world, um, and a part of that, of course, is is the study of truth. Is to want, you know, and that's what uh, I missed just that time to be actually in the classroom. Uh -huh.